We're here at Hugo's Manly on Manly Wharf in one of the best waterfront locations in Sydney. And joining us is Pete Evans, who's one of the owners here at Hugo's, and a very familiar face. Pete, thank you for joining us. G'day. Now tell us a bit about your background. How did you get into cooking? I believe you were 13 in your friend's pie shop. 13 years, <laughs> many, many years ago. Yeah. Wow. Um, Basically, I, I did it as to get some money, you know. When I grew up on the Gold Coast, a lot of my mates ended up working at Woolies or Coles, packing bags, doing that sort of stuff, the grocery bags, and yeah. I, it didn't appeal to me. And a couple of mates went and worked at uh, McDonald's and those type of places, and it seemed like fun, you know. There were young girls, it was yeah. fun, you know, it was fast. It I'm was, walking it, a 13-year-old one. Exactly. So I did that, and... Um, I did that all through high school, I just worked in different establishments and just to support I guess my young lifestyle of surfing and try to save up for a car, yeah. you know, there was never any aspirations or passion to be a chef. When did that come? Uh, that came when I couldn't get into uni to be an accountant. Uh, I thought, an accountant, wow. Yeah, I thought what can I do with myself and I thought well having fun cooking, why don't I get a trade behind me, I'll do that for four years. and. Once I've done that, I might come back and do an adult degree or something like that and um, go to uni then. But one thing led to another and um, I did my apprenticeship and I fell in love with cooking. Fantastic. And then you opened your own restaurant. The first was The Pantry in Melbourne, is that right? Yeah, I joined my brother and his best mate, Danny, down in Melbourne and uh, they'd already opened a restaurant about four years prior when I was about 14 or 15. We've opened one every three to four years. So after that we opened a Hugo's Lounge at King's Cross which is now a, a nightclub. We've had that for 10 years, mm -hmm. and that's one best nightclub in Australia the last three years in a row. After four years, we opened up Hugo's Bar Pizza, which is our neighborhood pizzeria, yes. Italian restaurant. Four years later, we opened this up, which is a combination or a combination of everything we've done up until this point. Now we're joined by Dave Evans, who's one of the co-owners here at Hugo's Manly. Dave, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure. And tell us about the type of cuisine that you have here. Uh, we basically do two types, our, probably 50% of our sales is in our pizza, yeah. we have one best pizza in the world, um, this was the pork belly pizza that was actually we presented in New York a few years ago and that's one of the ones that helped us win against the rest of the world. Other things we do such as the scallops, beautiful scallops from Canada that we import over which um, simply seared and you know we do a little bit of a tomato confit on, on it. Another great dish is the salmon that we have here. It's a um, great summer spring sort of dish which yeah. has got a nice pea puree on the bottom. One of our most famous dishes and entrees is right in front of us here which is the tasting plate. Um, four dishes all, all on our entree. Uh, menu and we also have the tuna crostini. Um, it's a very simple dish. It's just toasted crostini then with some olive oil char grilled and some beautiful sashimi tuna which has just been tossed in some olive oil and some a little bit of chili and salt and pepper. The dessert pizza we've had on the menu for six years. Same base as the other pizzas but it's just got the chocolate, the banana, the shaved chocolate on top and also scoop of ice cream. Fantastic and to go with some of the dishes you've got some fantastic cocktails what do we have? We do carafes here or jugs whichever way you want to look at it this is a pims we've also got the Hugo's punch and the final one which is a totally different style of drink which is a espresso martini it's almost like a dessert yep but you drink it. Dave thank you for joining us. My pleasure thank you.